This is a nematode. I don't know exactly what subspecies, but uh, it's a nematode. And that thing that looks like a sausage skin behind, beside it is a, uh, a nematode skin. Possibly this very one. I didn't actually see it getting out of it. But since he's so close, uh, this is probably his skin. I have read that they shed up to uh, four times in their life. And no telling how many times this has been shed. But I, I have actually caught this before. Uh, I caught one in the act of shedding. Uh, it seems to take a long time, although I never did watch it from start to finish. It looked like it takes a long time. I mean, the slide lasted 15 or 20 minutes or more, and he was still working at it when I left. So, no telling. I don't know how long they live. I don't even know what their... Well, I do know what their complete life cycle is, or but I don't know how long it takes for each one. Looks like he's caught something on his tail there. Maybe he's a rattle nematode. And I'm using a um, a Nikon Fluofot scope with a Canon T1i DSLR in video mode. And uh, I'm using a phase contrast condenser and this would be in phase two at this point. Using Nikon uh, Phase contrast DL plan acromat lenses. Here we're going to 40x right here. The blue color is a uh, artifact of the phase shift, I guess. I don't pretend to understand how they work. I just know that they do. And normally you see all these little particles, these little blue particles. Uh, you would never, normally you wouldn't see those. Yeah, while looking through bright field, but uh, the phase contrast brings it out. There's a few particles in here that uh, don't move when the background moves. Those are... Uh, burnt pixels on this T1i. Now we're going back to 10x. And it looks like he's found uh, a friend here. And 20x again. And uh, this sample is from a um, a scraping with a Q-tip. I flushed uh, a toilet in this back room. And uh, while the water was going down, and uh, the water level was low, I ran the Q-tip across some of the scum that grows on under the water line on the inside of the toilet. And this is some of the things that grow in it. Actually, I've done this several times, and this is the first time I've ever seen nematodes. And I don't know if these are males or females. I have seen them with eggs before, but uh, none of these and the recent batches have shown any eggs. 
So possibly these are uh, young ones. I don't know where they came from. The water that feeds the toilet line is uh, well water. And this, uh, it's probably been neglected for, uh, I don't know, a couple of months, unused. It's just flushed often enough to keep the water level above the opening at the bottom. And we're coming up on the end of the movie.